Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Ramblin' Man. It is the morning of day six. First thing I want to do is spend these two skill points. Let's go Lucky Looter and let's also go Strength Level 4. Alright, next thing I want to do is craft a forge. Here we go. Bam! Last night I dug up a bunch of clay soil. I also crafted some duct tape using our glue and cloth I got from that mobile home in the back there, so... That's cool. We got a forge moving. We're going to go put that down over by uh, probably the back of Aldo's, but let's hit up this crack a book first. Do this real quick. You know, nothing like looting first thing in the morning. Plus, I want to see wrecked, and he's not open yet anyway. Empty can. That's a way to start. We're probably going to get mostly paper out of this place, so I'm going to just take it for now because it does sell, and we can just sell it to wrecked when we go see him. Ooh, black strap coffee. Let's go ahead and drink that now. Get a little buzzed up this morning. More paper. All right, this door is unlocked, but we're going to go through the bathroom because this will lead us to the same place uh, that door goes, but we can loot the bathroom first. Murky water, a bone, and a glass jar, and that's it. Now going in through here leads us right where the door would have led us. Here's a workbench. Ah, some bicycle handlebars. Those sell for 150. We'll sell those to wreck. Let's take this uh, workbench apart here. The more forged iron we can get, the less we have to craft in the forge. Level 3 pipe shotgun. Sell that to wreck. Let's repair it. Gas. Hop seed. We don't need that. Mm, some cash and plastic parts. Going to take both of those things. We're going to need plastic parts to craft the wheels for the mini bike. Where the hell are all the zombies at? I guess they're all taking a break since we had a horde last night. Coal, that's good. We're going to need that for uh, the tires as well as the plastic parts. And what we really need to find is another bottle of acid. I only have one in storage. And you need one per tire. So obviously we need two tires. So we need another bottle. Bathroom here. And then there's another kitchen area up here, I believe. Maybe we can find some acid there. Let's go, zombies. Or not. Agility goggles and level 2 scrap iron gloves. We already have level 2 scrap iron gloves, but I'll repair those and sell them to Trader Wrecked. And we'll sell those agility goggles as well. Because we are wearing uh, nerdy goggles. We'll sell those candlestick holders. Um, yeah, these give you a point into agility, but I would rather keep our nerdy goggles on. So we'll just sell those. Agility goggles. I can't believe there are no fucking zombies in this BOI. That's definitely strange. Get some more cloth right here. We can use that to make more duct tape if we need to. Coffee? Why not? Just add some black strap, but I'll drink another cup. Just keep piling it on my nerves. They can take it. This leads us up to the roof. We probably at least got a bird up here, right? What the fuck? I guess zombies decided not to spawn in today. Another rainy day here in Ramblin', man. Ah, pistol book. I'll probably sell that, actually. I don't think I'll get to a point where I'm gonna want to craft a pistol. If it was the Desert Eagle, that'd be a different story, but since it's just the 9mm pistol, I'll probably just sell that. The more coin we can get our hands on, the better. Let's go get this forge put down and go see Wrecked get a workbench crafted. We're going to have to craft a hammer first. I think we can actually craft a hammer right now with the forged iron we picked up from the cracker book. But uh, let's get this forge put down first. Like I said, I'm thinking we're going to do it in the back of Aldo's here. Oh, hold on. Did you see that? Table saw. And get some more forged iron here. Now we can definitely craft a hammer. There we go. Claw hammer. Bam! 
All right, we should have everything we need for the workbench, except for the forged iron. The rest of uh, ours is in storage at Rex. We'll go see him in a second. Let's just get this forge put down. We can uh, craft a wheel if we want, but we got to craft the workbench first, so let's do that. And then to craft a wheel, we just need to get some more forged iron, which is crafting in the forge right now. And then we can get some more forged iron crafted so we can craft the chassis and the front end of the mini bike. And then the only thing we're going to be missing is the second wheel, which we need to find another bottle of acid for. I checked Rex's place to see if he had any. He didn't. So I guess we just got to go find it. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. All right, still got a little over a minute on the workbench. I guess we can raid Aldo's. We might as well, right? Go grab the main stash, finish looting that place. Oh, looks like that guy brought some friends with him. Yeah, fuck off, Kenny. Oh, did I hurt your knee, lady? Come on, Kenny, try that again. Hey, you made it over this time, at least. Oh, Kenny. Gotta love him. All right, workbench is almost done. Let's wait that out so we can put that down and get the chassis and front end of the mini bike crafting. Then we'll raid Aldo's and see if we can find another bottle of acid so we can craft the second wheel. All right, not a bad day so far. Got the forge put down, got a workbench crafted. Almost got the mini bike put together. We just need to find a bottle of acid, then we can finish that up, and we'll be looking real good. With the mini bike, we can uh, cruise back to Jen's town relatively quickly, down in the snow biome, check that town out a bit further, you know, do some exploring down there. Because uh, last time, I really just kind of did that one job for Jen and got the hell out of there. It was foggy, it was snowing, couldn't see shit. I didn't feel like dealing with a bunch of mountain lions when we were on a bicycle. But with the mini bike, we'll be much safer heading down there to do some exploring. Well, not much in these fucking cabinets. All right, uh, can't search the cash register or these cabinets here. Uh, coin, and I'll scrap those arrowheads. Close that door. Oop. Trash in here. A pipe. Ooh, leather jacket. Or college jacket. I'm gonna dump that chair. We don't need leather right now. Bone and an empty can. Water. I'll take the other one since we have nine. That'll make it a full stack. Overalls. Overalls replace your pants, right? Yeah, good. I'm sick of these plant fiber pants. Get out of here. All right, back in the workshop. The only thing we searched in here was this toolbox. Lead, don't need it. Pipes. Uh, I'll take the steroids and the painkillers. We'll sell the steroids and probably the painkillers too. I got so much first aid. It's ridiculous. Come here, you skinny prick. This guy's so skinny, he's got to wear a belt with spandex. He's so skinny, if he put on a yellow shirt and pants, he'd look like a pencil. That guy's so skinny, his nipples touch. That's all I got. Is this ladder new? I always thought you just had to go out the window. Here. I don't remember there being a ladder. There's a sports bag. Rotten flesh. Alright. Guess we're going up that ladder. 
Main stash. Come on, zombies, I know you're in there. Yeah, hold that big boy. Damn, didn't even affect him. Oh, shit. More than I expected. Uh, pistol. Slow down, you fuck. Man, when they come running at you... Oh, birds. When they come running at you, it's like nothing will stop them. Oh, fuck off on the ground, cornmeal. That feels good, right? Especially coming off of Farmer Glock. What do we got here? Robots and stun batons degrade 20% slower. I'll read that. I'm gonna sell the relay schematic, though. Okay. Take all that shit. Repair that pistol. We'll sell that. Anything else going on back here? Just some trash, it looks like. Alright. Oh, there's a... Duffel bag down there. Better not jump down. I don't feel like spraining my leg again. Let's go with uh, the right way. Out the window. Bam. Here we go. I'm gonna go check on the forge. Get some more forged iron crafting in there. And then I guess we'll continue our search for acid. The dead rooster. Seems like a friendly place. Oh, front door's open. That's welcoming. Oh, I like the layout already. Oh, we got chickens in here. Tell me there are chickens everywhere. That's gonna make my day. Oh, chicken! This is gonna be great. At least we'll get some meat. Another chicken! Oh, boy. Okay. Let's get dinner now. Oh, there's a basement. How did the chicken ran upstairs, though? Where is it at? Jump out one of these windows? They all look close to me. Nothing there. Nothing there. Waking up more zombies, I guess. Some money. Oh, shit. Where'd you come from? Oh, that's where you came from. Where'd that chicken go? Maybe it did fly out one of these windows. There, there was one that was broken open. Well, we lost one. That's a shame. Unless it jumped down off the railing. Ah, duffel bag. Uh, 96 bucks for that poncho. Okay. Sell that. Might as well grab these chairs. Usually I skip over the chairs, but when there's this many of them, you might as well take advantage. Chicken! <laughs> Nothing there. Let's get the sledge out. What? There are cockfights in the basement? Of course there are. This is Arizona. Anything goes in Arizona. I don't think there are any laws in Arizona. I really don't. I think you can just basically do whatever you want and nobody says anything. What a great idea for a POI, though. The dead rooster and it's a cockfighting bar. Come on. Fun pimps really outdid themselves, this, this alpha. Where did you come from, Lay? Where did you come from? All of a sudden, there's fucking zombies. The stripper came from the corner over here. Oh, here we go. Something going on under the steps. Dead. Oh, a little bathroom. 
Oops. Paper? No thanks. Is that a plug? Nope. Alright. Grab these chairs. Let's grab this main loot. Let's get the hell out of here. No acid, but... A whole bunch of chickens, that definitely makes up for it. Ten percent more damage against deer. You know what? I'll just sell that book. I don't really need the ten percent extra damage against deer. All right, let's stop at Rex. Sell him some of this shit, uh, including this grip mod. Yeah, we'll sell that too. And then we'll look for uh, another place to raid to try and find acid. Maybe we'll take a job from Wrecked. He usually sends us to like a house and uh... You can usually find acid in houses because uh, you tend to find it underneath um, underneath sinks, either in a bathroom or a kitchen. That's locked. There might be something going on on the roof, though, because that zombie fell down from up there. Let's see what's going on back here. Maybe there's a way to get up on the roof. And here, oh, there's a ladder. It's it's broken, though. Oh, there's some shit back there. Let me check this trash, and then we'll pop that gate open. If the ladder's busted, then we'll just pull our way up to the roof. Or at least up to that ladder. And see what's going on up there. Oh, shit. Damn it. Whoa. Was not expecting that. Let's use one of these first aid bandages. Get rid of that abrasion. Just when you think you're out of the woods, they pull you back in. I guess. Take the stone. Grab this cobblestone also. Oh, not much going on up here. Empty can, bird nest, and that's about it. All right, well, let's get over to Rex. Like I said, we'll sell him some shit, and we'll take a job from him. This way, if wherever he sends us doesn't net us acid, at least we'll get a reward out of it. I've got just the job. You better not fuck this up. Well, not the POI I would have picked, but I guess we're doing it. This is the uh, Dog Snake Pigman mobile home, so it should be fun. Jar. We should definitely encounter some dogs, some snakes, and some pigs in here. Not that we need meat, just got so much of it at the dead rooster. Can. Plastic parts. Here we go. Come on. There goes dog number one. And now I heard pigs were pretty crazy in this alpha. I heard they get pissed off really fast and they do even more damage than they did in alpha 19. So we got to be careful around the pigs. I'll take those radiators. Oh, something's blowing up. Let's get up here. Another dog. Fuck you. See what I mean? When they're running at you, zombies, dogs, whatever, they just don't stop until they're dead. Take both of those things. Anything behind this painting? Nope. Skipping on the cement. Take the cobblestone, nope. Might as well, right? Hey, where's the pig? Somebody fucked up. It's supposed to be a pig in this kitchen. Murky water. Come on, give me that acid. Son of a bitch. Come on, give me some acid. Son of a bitch. Now, usually there's another pig that runs at you. Oh, there's a snake. Fuck off, snake. I'll take the wood. Come on, give me some acid. Son of a bitch. 
Maybe we can find a fish concert. Definitely find acid there. Good on the paper. It's always when you're looking for something, right? I'll take the glue. Are there not any pigs in here? Because there's usually one in the kitchen, which there wasn't. And there's usually one in this room here. And there's not. Somebody messed up, I'm telling you. They forgot to put the pigs in this POI. So far, it's just dog snake POI. There's no pigs or men. There's a wolf, though. Sure we got a zombie in this closet. Or a wolf. Holy shit. That's a big one. Oh my god. Get up on the cage. Where is it? Fuck. Jeez. That thing was on my ass. It's like every episode. We almost get killed. But hey, what do they say? Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades or some shit? Don't know what that means, but that's what they say. Here's a sneaky way to get to the main stash from the roof instead of having to go through that window. Come on up here, buddy. Yeah, get back down there, buddy. And then we're the ones busting out of the closet instead of the zombies. Uh, scrap the nail, take the pipe. Uh, robotic weapons do 10% more damage. Definitely reading that. That'll be good if we can find a junkie. Be nice to have a little sidekick in Ramblin' Man. Uh, okay, I'm gonna sell the flashlight mod schematic. I'm gonna repair that level 4 chest armor, and we're gonna replace it with our level 2. There we go. We'll sell the level 2. Alright. Give me some acid. Son of a bitch! Damn. What do you got for me, Wrecked? Level 2 Iron Crossbow. I heard crossbows were uh, pretty good in this alpha, but I'm gonna sell that back to him anyway. We'll stick with guns. Even though I am still toting around this bow with stone arrows. I'll give it up one day. Alright, I spotted this on the way to Rex, and I thought this would be a good place to spend the night and also try and find some acid. The Motel 8. I uh, got plenty of rooms in here. Each room has its own bathroom. And like I said earlier, underneath the sink in a bathroom is where you tend to find acid. So, uh, hopefully, we can make that happen. Uh, let's throw something in there. Uh, no, maybe not the eye candy, because then I'll forget I have it. There you go. Look at all these fucking bandages. Okay. Let's check the trash first. This might be a... Ooh, advanced bellows. I'll read that. This might be a, a dumb move, raiding this place. It's gonna be a little bit of a clusterfuck, and it's about to be night. I'm not too worried about it, though. Let's start with the main office here. Alright, then. Come on out. Boom. Dead. Nothing there. Goth boots. I'm good. Oh, we got a wall safe. We got a couple lockpicks. Let's try our luck. Not bad, some cash, shotgun shells, this pipe, uh, baton that I'll sell. Alright, let's start with the rooms now. All these rooms should be the same. Just one room with the bathroom, both doors locked, that's gonna be a pain in the ass, but what are you gonna do? Alright. No acid here, but plenty of more rooms to check.
Ooh, hunting knife. I'm sure it's better than our bone knife, but I'm gonna scrap it anyway for the iron. Wait till I find a better one. Alright, I'm gonna eat the rest of this, uh, boiled meat here, because we're getting hungry. And we'll cook some more once we've raided all these rooms. We'll probably stay on the second floor tonight. I'm sure it's much safer up there. We can take the steps out so no zombies can get up to us. And then we'll get some food cooking. Eh, nothing in there that I'm interested in. Oh shit! Well, you know, you're supposed to announce yourself before you walk in somebody's room? Damn! Rude bastard. We are almost out of 762. I got a whole stack of it in the bicycle. We should probably go grab that. Dead. God damn, big boy, you fucking bullet sponge. Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, shit. Damn, we're getting overrun here. We got uh, feral zombies showing up. How can I help you? Welcome to Hotel Glock. The Glock 9. <laughs> the Motel Glock 9. Oh, that's a series. Jesus. Oh, back up. These unruly customers. Big boy, fuck off and die, will ya? Holy shit. Look at this. It won't stop coming in. There's no more vacancy, motherfuckers. This might have been a mistake. Okay. Can I get a breather? Yeah, I don't know if we keep waking up zombies in the motel, or if they're just the kind of wandering around and, and hear us in here. Keep attracting more, though. Once we get up on the second floor and knock the steps out... Oh shit, that's a spider zombie. And once we get up on the second floor and knock the steps out, we'll be fine. We, don't, we won't have to worry about it, even if a bunch of zombies do show up. We can just wait it out until morning if we have to. Okay, this is the laundry room, and we better not back ourselves into that room, because I'm hearing zombies. Not in there. Not in there. Here we go. A stripper and Mo. What were you two doing? Stripper's dead. Go ahead, run. Get out of here, Mo. Oh, you had your chance. Could've got a freebie. Shit, man, just can't find acid. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? You must have come from another room. So I did knock the stairs out, unless I didn't knock them out enough. Got a crawler trying to get up the steps. Alright, let's finish breaking into these rooms, and then we'll probably set up in the uh, laundry room for the night. T-shirt. More bullshit. Uh, yeah, and we'll crack into that wall safe. Um, as we're cooking some food. Hey, another stripper. Dead. Nothing. Let's, uh, get in this room. This room, uh, was open. This may have been where the, uh, construction worker zombie came from. Hearing a dog barking now, too. Uh, which... The zombie dogs don't bark like that, so that's definitely a wolf. Could be attacking a zombie. Oh yeah, here we go. I don't know if he's attacking Mo or trying to get up here. Either way, let's take care of him first. Ah, he's running away. Mo's dead. We better finish knocking those steps out. We gotta knock at least one more block out. Oh shit, he's coming back. 
And now he's gonna run. What a little bitch. Here we go. Fuck off, wolf. Put a frame in there. Upgrade it. And let's knock, uh... Well, let's knock this set of steps out. Then we'll get down there, kill the crawler, harvest the wolf, use this other set of steps to jump back up here, and then we'll knock those out. You stuck, buddy? There you go. Alright. Let's get more meat. Why not? Ah, there wasn't much left of them. Ah, uh, shit. That was our only lockpick. I guess we're beating our way into that thing. Let's get a campfire down so we can start cooking some meat. That's some shotgun shells and a level 5 bow that we don't need because we already have one. Let's eat this meat. We'll hang out in the laundry room here, wait for the rest of the meat and water to cook, and then we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 7, go try and find that one bottle of acid that we need. We can't craft acid, right? I'm not that stupid. No. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more rambling, man, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.